everybody. Welcome again to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I hope you will find interesting, entertaining, motivating, but always, always something that you can use. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Today, I need to introduce you to somebody who is a hero of mine. Her name is Rachel Banks. Rachel has been married for 22 years to a military member who's recently retired. And also, she's the mother of five kids. And she is a business owner. And today, we're going to be talking to Rachel about what it's been like to be a military spouse traveling all over the world with five kids. Hey, Rachel, how are you? Hi, Ricky. I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm so good. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for talking about this, because this is important. There are a lot of us out there. Yes, there is. There's, yes. There's a lot. And I say us, because now, you know, I was in the military, and yes. then I was also a military spouse doing the travel. Yes. And you. thank you for your service and y'all. <laughs> but people don't realize there's a difference traveling the world with one child versus traveling the world with five kids. Yes, girl, yes. So yes. let me ask you this, first things first. Rachel, how many places have you moved to? Do you even know? You know, I don't, wow, that's crazy. Uh, we've been to or Fort Hood, of course, close to home. Then we went to um, Alabama. We went to Korea, um, Fort Bliss twice. Hawaii, yay, but I love that place. But I was ready to leave though. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I believe that's it. That's, okay. that's all the places we've been. And you say that um, like it's nothing. That's all the places we've been. Mm. So, <laughs> let me ask you this though. You went all those places and you moved five kids. So yeah. how old were the children when you started moving around with your husband? Oh, brand new, brand new. Cause we uh, moved to El Paso uh, <laughs> with Michael's mom and dad in the U-Haul and for a little bitty DJ. I mean, little, little bitty DJ mm -hmm. moving up to El Paso. So that was the first round trip. But then I was pregnant with Tasia when we moved back home. And uh, that was, that was fun. Well, yes. let me ask you this. So how old are the children now? Oh my God, I have a 21 year old a 20 year old uh the twins will be 15 and g anthony 16. okay so now that means that at one time you were traveling around with a group of people that were 12 and under yes absolutely how did you get all of that done without going out of your mind I need a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Just one? Really? <laughs> oh, but by, for seriously, seriously, um, I really don't know. I just, I credit God for it because I was really out of my mind. Mm -hmm. um, overwhelmed, didn't know what to do, how to handle it. Um, because I lost my mother um, when I turned 18. Right. So right. right when I felt like I needed her most, Mm. To ask her all the questions, the hard questions, she I didn't have her. So I was just like, oh, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What, what do I do? So glory be to God, seriously. Seriously. Well, let me and ask a couple this, of wine. Yeah, right, girl. Let's not <laughs> forget that. So like you said, your first move, say, for instance, your very first move with all the kids. Yeah. What did that look like for you? I mean, the Packers are coming. The kids are running. You got to pull them out of school. What did that look like for you? And then getting to the new place. Oh man, it was actually fun because I was excited to go somewhere else and mm -hmm. experience it. So I've always been a person who made sure the kids were in line. Okay, this, this, you need to have this. Make sure this is there, this is. So when we were getting ready to pack, it wasn't hard at all. The mm -hmm. hard part was when <laughs> we was traveling and everybody was hungry or <laughs> somebody wants somebody touching or somebody just like, I'm tired of being in this truck. Uh, right. And then we right. get there and the house is gray, so we have to stay in a little big room and mm. ooh, that was the hard part. Oh my god. Yeah. Well so, it, it so but you did it and you got there. So mm -hmm. when you get to a new place, you know, mm -hmm. for all of us that are military people, you know, you get to a new place, you gotta make new friends, you've gotta find this, that, and the other. Rachel, you did that and had to find schools 
houses. Yeah. Michael, yeah. I'm sure, wanted his boots and he didn't know where they were. That was your job. And then he had, <laughs> had to receive the, the goods from the house. Get, yeah. What's a story that you have about getting someplace? A good one or a bad one? What, what is one of your favorite stories about moving around with the family? Oh, man. I Well, the hardest was getting to Alabama and all our household goods was really right behind us. All we had to do was go sign for the paper mm -hmm. and we couldn't sign for the paper. So our household goods had to go um, in storage for about two weeks, two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. So we were just miserable. <laughs> the, the, the easiest one was when we moved to Korea. And wow. um, I did all the hard legwork because Michael went to Korea first. Mm -hmm. I stayed back. And at that time, I had a in-home daycare. I was doing FCC for the Army. So I had 11 kids in my house. Um, especially Wait, stop. In you had 11 <laughs> other kids or your kids? Uh, so 11, 11. 11 total. 11 total. Ooh, with my girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was running around doing all the paperwork, getting the shots, making sure the kids had everything they needed so that we can transfer get tickets to go to Korea but I was so relieved once we got there he had everything set up mm -hmm. he had food in the house he had I mean everything was in line so I was so happy that was a relief I did the hard part at the beginning and he took care of the rest at the end so that's my best move story with that little is. people <laughs> now I know you guys have gone to Hawaii and I know that you loved Hawaii in and of itself, but it wasn't so much fun at the beginning for the kids, was it? No, it wasn't. It, it really wasn't. Getting to know people, yeah. you know. You think you have friends, but you really don't have friends. You have people who want to be your friend and want to use you, want to whatever. But, yeah, it was very hard for them because they kept falling into that pattern of, oh, this is my friend, and then find out that, no, they wasn't their friend. Mm -hmm. then um, just not being able to get out as much because things are expensive and we have five kids and then you know DJ was in college so he was your oldest so this was your first time moving minus one child yes yes Ugh, how was yes. that for you as a mom it was still it was hard because I had to let go of one child let him try to grow up and be in college and then take care of my other kids at the house. It was like, oh my God. So I wanted to bury myself, but I couldn't bury because I had to stand up and make sure everybody was good. But it was very hard to, he's there alone, making sure that he's okay. And then mm -hmm. I'm pulling from the kids that I have with me to make sure he's okay. Sure. So that was, that was wrong for, that was rough. Cause it was hard on them because I was taken mm -hmm. from them and right. uh. <laughs> I know I know but now here too like I, in your introduction you also own a business talk to us a little bit about your business sugar bee sugar bee started when we moved to Korea um G Anthony out of all kids he wanted a super Mario's cake and I was like I'm gonna do this because you know mm -hmm. I like challenges so let's do it and I did it and everybody loved it. Everybody, mm -hmm. my neighbor downstairs, she came up, took pictures, posted it on Facebook. She's like, you should do this, you should do this. And I started doing it and I grew, I mean, my poor little case from the beginning, oh my God, I go back and look at it, I'm like, what in the world? I'm not where I want to be, but I'm surely not where I started out. But um, mm -hmm. it has been fun. My mom was the cookie lady. Okay. Uh, she would make cookies. She would sell them for the pastor and wife anniversaries and stuff. So I was, you know, I grew up in that. I made cookies. I ran from cakes. But when I started making cakes, it just brought out a joy in me. It gave me peace to help with all the chaos that was going around me. So people mm -hmm. were like, how do you do this? Why do you like doing it? it because I am a big kid with Play-Doh, and it brings me peace. So I enjoy it. I love it. And so that's neat, as because as a military spouse moving around, you literally almost get to take your job with you everywhere you go. Yes, and it's always hard because I have to wait a year for people to, you know, find out who Sugar Bees is. Is she good? Can she do this? So business is slow for the first year, and then after they find out, then it's oh orders after orders after orders. So I, I enjoy awesome. it. I love 
I'm a fan. And for all of you all watching, um, Rachel actually did a birthday cake for me. And it was a Dooney. It was a purse. It was a Dooney purse with yes. Batman accoutrements. It was the <laughs> coolest cake ever. And if we, if we can, I'm going to make sure to see if we can get a picture of it for you. <laughs> hey, everybody, while you're here, why don't you make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel? And also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. I will make sure to have all of Rachel's information in our description box below for her Sugar Bees business as well. That way you can touch base, go on her website, and take a look at the cakes that she has also. But Miss Rachel, before we let you go... We are going to play a game! Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay. This game is called This or That. It's super okay. simple. I'm going to give you the choice of two things, and as fast as you can off the top of your head, you <laughs> give me your favorite, okay? Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. First one, McDonald's or Burger King? Ooh, Burger King. Batman or Captain America? Mm, Batman. My girl. Go into the movies or movies at home? Ooh, movies at home. Woo! Make the call or send the text? Mm, make the call. Snickers or Three Musketeers? Ooh, Snickers. <laughs> dressing up or dressing down? Uh, dressing down. Cats or dogs? <laughs> dogs. <laughs> Thanksgiving or New Year's Eve? Thanksgiving. Mm, fry it or grill it? Grill it. Morning person or not now? Morning. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and finally, what is your favorite Olympic sport? Ooh, track and field. Very nice. Rachel, you have been an absolute delight, and I knew that you Thank would. You. But before I let you go, what is one encouragement that you would like to give to other military spouses? Uh, I just encourage them to self-care. Take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of nobody else. So please, please take care of yourself. Make sure your mind is right. <laughs> that is absolutely right. And if all else fails, pray and get a glass of wine, right? <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And we uh -huh. will see you next time on Extra.